So here we go, and we have our hats. <coughs> what do the hats mean? Well, it's a uh, kind of a versus thing. We're going to be talking about Halloween and the remake Halloween. Uh, this will be Halloween. This will be the remake Halloween. And one, each of us has to take a hat and defend the, <coughs> the film that we want. Do you want the original? Okay. <coughs> let's first let's talk the uh, main characters. All right. Actually, that's perfect. That is. Perfect. <coughs> and uh, I'll go first. Okay. Uh, in this one, uh, Michael is much more the main character than he would be in the uh, in the sequel, and uh, in, well, in the uh, in the re in the original, <coughs> Michael's character is explored more. Uh, we find out more about the uh, about his childhood, about what it was like, about things that made him maybe made him become the way he was. Now, we don't really know why he's the way he is, but we do know that uh, his home life is pretty messed up, <coughs> which is very different from what the original uh, film said, and. Uh, Myers is kind of a, uh, he's a conflicted soul, but there's never a point when you kind of like feel totally sorry for the kid because uh, you can pretty much see that he's not good, right? Even right in the beginning, he's, there's glimmers of a child, but it always seems like it's, until he puts on the mask, the whole, his whole life is a mask, if that makes any sense to you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I probably made it more relevant, relevant than it was. But uh, anyway, that's why I saw. It. That's the uh, character. As the as for the like the uh, Loomis, uh, I can't get a really good struggle on the Loomis character here. I gotta say, the Sheriff Brackett character was obviously very, very much better in my opinion in the uh, remake than he was in the original film. Mm -hmm. uh, I I'll yeah. probably give you that one. And, uh, I'd like Annie, too. The... Yeah. Annie, definitely Annie's better in the, in the remake. <clears throat> but I... Yeah, I'll say that. But I can't... I like Scout, but I can't, uh... See, just really... No. Uh, Scout was, is a good actress, but I just really didn't take to her in the first movie. And I, I gotta go over there. He's gotta talk about the characters in the original. Okay. I do that. Uh, for the original... I'm not going to include Michael as a character, because Michael isn't. The shape is. And I, that's my fundamental problem with the remake. Is that the remake is a film about a kid named Michael Myers, but it's not Halloween. It's not a film about the shape. <clears throat> the shape, in mine, he doesn't have... He's got a backstory, but it's literally just... He killed his sister. Why? Nobody knows. It doesn't matter. He wasn't abused. He wasn't... He didn't even have a hard time. The most he did was his sister was, like, slightly... Slightly, uh, unattentive. <clears throat> he doesn't need a backstory. He comes in. He comes back, like, 20 years later. He goes after a random girl. Because the sequel hasn't happened this time. We don't know his connection to her. And he's nearly unstoppable. Why? It doesn't matter. <coughs> What's his motive? It doesn't matter. He's the shape. He doesn't need the name Michael Myers. Because he's the personification of evil. That's why the white mask works. You can project on it anything. Agreed. <coughs> uh, Loomis. I don't even have to say anything. Loomis is so good in this film. Loomis is... The most oh, I looked into one. those eyes. Just... The dark eyes. The yeah, he's very he's, quote, he's quotable. Lewis, that's for sure. He's so quotable. He's so good. He's got that. Even from the first film, he's got that like weary, like rasp to him. Like oh, I've been doing this for. I've done better. Time. An Annie. You have a hope. <laughs> Annie was. <clears throat> and yeah, but Annie was like. Yeah. And uh, we definitely have Annie. a better character for that. Did the, was even the character for the third girl? Was there? No, she just died. I think. Oh. I don't know. Wait, was there even a third girl? Yeah, no, she see, did technically she be the one that walks with that. See anything you like? Yeah. Um, okay, let's get to the next part. Cause next well, I gotta <laughs> say, though, one once more. again, Jamie Lee Curtis, obviously better. I do think Scout Hampton is freaking really, like, she looks adorable she's, in that one. You she's think she's a hobby? But yeah. yeah. <laughs> but she doesn't have a characterization. If we're talking about Zombie Wing 2, I could... Uh, I could go into why another. We're not talking we're about not doing it. That, though. We're not. I'm not <laughs> okay. to say anything.
here we go. <clears throat> Next up, music. <clears throat> I'm going to let him go first this time. <clears throat> All right. Uh, freaking soundtrack to... I find this weird because... I'm trying to remember correctly. Do they use essentially the same? There's like a lot of the same. Don't fear the reaper. I remember. Specifically. Don't fear the reaper. Don't fear the reaper. Was it in the remake too? In Zombie Wing? I know that Zombie Wing. I think 2... they had a remake of Don't Fear the Reaper. Okay. All right. So now in Zombie Wing two, they use. I think. No, they didn't use any. I'm just trying to remember the which one had the things. No because... references to Zombie Wing two. Uh, the the audios are fairly the like soundtracks are fairly similar. They like to use them back. For... Well, okay. Yeah, I, I should note that the entire time I was watching Zombie Wing 2, I was more along the lines of, why am I watching these hillbillies? <laughs> Instead of, like, listening to the soundtrack. But, <clears throat> just... Oh, I'm also, coming in here because he, he's not saying much. Sense. <laughs> John Carpenter's soundtrack for the original Halloween is definitely the, the soundtrack that is that would win. Yeah. Rob Zombie, however, is a musician. And uh, I would argue a very good and uh, popular musician. And he does know how to put music into movies. And he does it pretty well. Uh, I did find the music... Some of it didn't always... Well, love Hurts. I love the song oh. Love Hurts. <laughs> but it just came across ultra cheesy and out of place as... Emo Michael is sitting on the on the steps, feeling down, while his mom is stripping and Love Hurts is playing, and it's kind of like juxtaposing the whole thing. So yeah, I gotta say, even though I am supposed to be defending that one, it you got the music. Yeah, one. yeah. I'm not allowed to say anything about it, but I'll just like drop the Knights in White Satin. That was a good one. That's actually a good song. Oh, but not in any. Okay. Anyways, I'm not allowed to talk about it. We need a third third category of what story. Is story. <coughs> story wise, there's a strong like uh, story in in my in mine. They, they, there's they, a there's, story in yours. <laughs> they have a characterization. There is a Rob Zombie story in yours. <coughs> there's characterization. Yeah, there's characters there. The I mean everything is explained. Oh, I mean, very in detail. <laughs> everything over is explained. And over again, if you can't figure it out. D don't worry, because ten minutes later, they're going to go over again. That's the problem. <clears throat> that is the major problem with the zombie lean films. Well, not even part two, because part two doesn't make any sense. But the the original zombie lean, <clears throat> like I said with the character, he's the shape. <clears throat> he doesn't need an explanation. Explaining things are bad. It's Cult true. of Thorns. I like Cult of Thorns. It's... It's better than the, like, oh, look, he was abused by the stereotypical Rob Zombie-like characters. Plus yeah. his wife again. Wow, big surprise. She, I like his wife. She's very cute. Oh, that's great. She's a good actress. Yeah, no, she's... I, I'm not, a, like, And I would watch her in many things. Oh, certainly, but not that. Because... Her Lord of Salem's good. I don't know, I haven't seen it. Um, <clears throat> but, like, <clears throat> it's a Rob Zombie movie. And I, I don't... It's not, I don't not like Rob Zombie movies. I like Devil's House Rejects. of Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, Never Saw, El Super Beast, though. You should see El Super Beast. I, I probably should. Know. That might that'd probably be good. But <clears throat> he puts... I, I understand, like, certain directors and stuff like that will put their own little spin on stuff. But not this much. I think... It's so different. I think overall, well, the one thing that we can say right here is that Halloween is the original, it's the better constructed film. Yeah. Better made film. However... Rob Zombie's slasher film, which is also unfortunately named Halloween, would have been a really good movie if it had been called anything else but Halloween. I don't, I don't know about that because, because we wouldn't have the oh, yeah. because here, one of the problems with Rob Zombie's film is that he over explains everything, and <clears throat> and and one of the big things about Halloween is that it's a mystery and it's it not doesn't explained. Really explain it. But if that was an, an original character, an original yeah. concept. It wouldn't matter if it was always thing because we'd be hearing it, seeing it for the first time. That's true. However, that's true. when it's retreading somebody else's idea and doing it <clears throat> badly, even <laughs> even still, <clears throat> there is too much exposition in that film. Even if it wasn't a Halloween film, we spend so much time with Kid <clears throat> him, and then so much time watching him as he gets grows up. I didn't mind Kid him so much. I mean, the actor was okay. 
and I liked that, but I just didn't like this I, as a Halloween film. I thought this could have been a really good film if Halloween name wasn't on it. Uh, that's my biggest thing. I mean, we won't get into the sequel because, you know, it's really horrible. But, uh... There wouldn't even be a debate there. Yeah, there's no debate there. It's just me taking out the hat and just... <laughs> <coughs> but Rob Zombie's film, remake of Halloween is not a good remake. Is it a good slash film on its own if it was called something else? Yes, it would be a decent yeah. slash film on its own called something else. It, does, it has uh, a decent, if kind of, from Rob Zombie's standards, it's kind of like way too used backstory for him. Uh, the actor that plays Michael Mars says, and that all does a really good job. Yeah. He's huge, he's hawking, he's brutal. You feel the strength of the character. <clears throat> the music is well done for the movie, but this should not be a Halloween film. This should be a Rob Zombie original and yeah. should be called something else. As a Halloween film, it fails on almost every level, but as a film on its own, it doesn't. And that's the sad part about it. The sad thing is Rob Zombie is a unique voice in horror. I may not always agree with him, Halloween too, uh, but <clears throat> I do respect that he has a love for the genre, and it shows in what he does. It comes across in what he does. He doesn't give a damn, and he makes movies that he wants to make that he likes for himself, because like he said, he, he doesn't know how to make movies for anybody else. He knows how to make That's movies for, for about stuff that he's interested in and that he likes. And if somebody else likes it, that's cool too. Uh, he's been lucky enough to uh, get up there and have the, the chance to do this. And he wants to do it his way while he's doing it. And if people doesn't like it, then he can always go back to the music. But uh, Halloween, as a remake, as a reboot, as a reimagining, it's a complete fail. But the, the Rob Zombie's slasher film under another name, it works. I think it'd actually be <clears throat> even more regarded if it, it was be, on it. Because, like, much I'm, more regarded, I've, I'm on the side of the original Halloween being better. It is much better. And I agree, much, much better. But there are people who legit, who, like, really like, like, anything. They really mm -hmm. like Halloween, and, yeah, I can see that. Uh, well, you know, obviously... Rob's on Halloween. Agree, but, yeah. Well, there are kids that grew up, and this was the first Halloween yeah. movie that they saw. There are and people that's kind of like sad, because they'll go back and say... This is Rob Zombie's Halloween's much better because it's much more fast moving. It's much more, much more death and blood and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But it's that's not the point. Halloween was never about no. death and okay. Halloween was never about like death and and destruction and blood and kills. Halloween was about suspense. It was about considering I'm wearing this evil. hat now. It's about strippers. <laughs> it was about pure evil and pure evil it's in a small normal. town. And that's is. what. It worked so well. That's why Halloween worked so well. That's why, f that's that is why Friday the Thirteenth, set in the camp, worked so well. And that is why Nightmare on Elm Street, set in su small town suburbia, Elm Street, worked so well. You just because it seemed real. Things. It seemed more realistic, <clears throat> and you didn't have to dirty people up or anything like that. Because inside their closets, we already knew that no matter what they were wearing and how nicely dressed they were, there were the dirty secrets anyway. You didn't have to put it blatantly in your face because you know what. That the writers and directors were skilled enough that you would get it in a, on a more of a on a more of a subconscious level. You didn't need it. Fre Fre Freddy Krueger in that relationship was the embodiment of, of the dirty little secret in the closet, and that's where these films worked well. And that's where Rob Zombie's film failed mostly in Halloween, in my in my opinion. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. Yeah, twenty there's seconds to say. There's a completely <laughs> different tone between mm -hmm. the two films, and I respect that Rob Zombie likes. It, and then he wanted to do something more along his lines, but he still loved the film. But I think he put too much of him into what he loved. And and I'm good. I I think that should, that should have been his own film. It could have been like Arbor Day, and yeah. it fine. But right now, we got to go because we're almost out of time. And we know that uh, Aaron's almost out of a... I'm completely out of Sunny D. Yeah, so it's time for, for Sunny D for him, and it's time for T for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Tiny fucks is dumb. <laughs> Time for tea.